Welcome back guys, so today we're gonna be installing our gear in our uh, Pericon Fabrications tailgate storage. Stay tuned, keep watching, and subscribe. Okay, so the main thing is trying to get uh, one less box inside the cab while we're driving. Not only that, but I don't want to have any type of equipment or boxes uh, in the vehicle while I'm kind of da doing daily driving. So the, the key thing is trying to get rid of one less front runner box in the vehicle. So like straps. Rings, ratchet straps, hitch uh, receiver. Can't put a compressor in there, but. And then obviously, you know, your high lift jack uh, wheel mount, we can fit all this stuff. So, key thing is try to get some of this stuff in there, but again, we don't want to put too much weight on the back of our tailgate because then it's going to be a pain in the butt to lift up and down. So, let's see. How we, we can fit in there. So first and, form, first and foremost, I do want to have my ratchet, my recovery strap in there. So I don't know, right or left? That's the the hardest decision. Uh, I'd probably say because I'm right-handed, I'm going to put everything that's important on the right side. Put it in the long way kind of hide it in there, help whatever you're putting here, kind of dampen the sound, or, or if you want to get more, more use out of it, then you can put it sideways and then drop whatever you want in here. Uh, what we're gonna also want to do is equal out the, the weight on both sides. These are ratchet, uh, these are ratchet straps, so uh, we want to have these in there too. Um, don't really use them very often, but always good to have. This is another thing that you might want to just either take them out the box or keep them in the box. Could fit there. Or oh, let's see if this side's better. I think this side's better for the ratchet straps. Or like I said, that'll work. Or, you know, if you want to take them out, you can, but by leaving them in the box, it stays organized. Uh, these are important to me. They're uh, LED road. Uh, lights, so these are pretty cool. They, li they light up. You want to have a set of these you can pick these up on my amazon store and i'll make a, another video on these i think this will be great to show you you know what they look like out in the in the wild but uh, i'll probably put this over here uh, i use this a lot um so i, I want to keep this nearby the the d-rings as well these come in handy too but we're going to go ahead and put them over here Let's see how we're doing on weight. Ah, uh, it's not too bad. Once we add there, this puts some weight to it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here. Actually, I'll probably move this over. Put this here. Like this. That's way better down there. We are going to also put our hitch lock in there with our keys um, and put that in between inside the tow strap. Man, there's still a lot of space here. Uh, we're going to put our recovery, our wheel lift um, thing. I think I might just, because I don't use, I won't use this as much. I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. Maybe I'll just go ahead and put, you know, this 
here. Well, actually, I think this is a better location for it. So literally, we just emptied out a box. The only thing is uh, the compressor. That's the only thing that's left in that box. You know, a good set of Gorilla tape is always good to have in here. Um, right there. We're going to put a set of gloves in there. These are pretty simple. Kind of just put it in there. I mean, there's a significant weight to it, but I mean, not, not, not too crazy. Let's see how. I mean, it's a lot heavier than it was before, but I'm, I'm okay with that. And I'm the only one that opens it. We still have plenty of room here. Let's see what else we could put in here. Big, big important piece is a set or a bunch of zip ties. You can never get enough zip ties. So these always come handy. I know every time somebody asks me for zip ties, I always have to go in, inside the vehicle to get them out of a box. Now, I'll probably just have my zip ties right here and then whenever somebody wants a zip tie pull it right out and make sure that we have them all facing the same way different size zip ties and now if somebody asks for a zip tie and we still have space right here we have zip ties let's see where we can put it add more to it these always come in handy too to have around a set of these clips will be perfect to throw in there. All right, so what I, another thing that I thought, maybe put some tools in that would fit perfectly right here. Worst case scenario, we, we swap out or we take these ding rings out, out of the box and we place them on this side. So uh, big shout outs to Magnaflow for sending me this. I think we could put some like, just some basic tools that we might need. Um, You know, unless we can put, I don't even know. Let's see what we have. Now I'm going into my toolbox. I like having my toolbox, but something handy would be good. Let's see how well this holds up. Set of big screwdrivers. Some wire cutters. Whatever ratchet or things that I have open, 22 millimeter. Bigger one, I can move this out of the way. Put a ratchet here. And again, this is somewhere we can have it accessible. Put a ratchet here. Screwdriver. I don't need another screwdriver. Let's take out this old school one and we'll put this one here. One more ratchet. I might have to choose a bigger pocket. So what I'll do is put a bigger pocket over here. This. Yeah, 
here. That relieves us from one box other than the hammer and a bigger screwdriver. breaker bar and a socket extension. The socket extension we could keep in here. The breaker bar we could just slide it into, into the storage tailgate. Put that there. Oh, I mean, pretty much we're getting rid of a lot of stuff so if I see anything else then we'll go ahead and add it to it. But tools and out of a box and put it into our tailgate. Boom. Just like that, take this out, and that'll give us some some tools. Again, big shout out to MagnaFlow for hooking this up. I think we might have to pull this out so we can fit this in here, or like I mentioned, take that out, put a tailgate on our thing like this, take these out, because these don't matter, throw these in into our recovery area. I almost think we should do this instead. That. Like that. Put this back in here. And then put our D rings. That's a lot of space. Put our breaker bar in here. I could actually fit it. I should probably want my breaker bar in the bottom. And we still have my uh, my hitch receiver down there. Might want to take that out from out there, just because I, I use that a lot more. So I'll put my breaker bar in there. Put my recovery right. Uh, strap there, put my tools right here, put my recovery right here, my D-rings and all that stuff right here. I think I put it at the bottom so all the weight is at the bottom of the tailgate. Like that. Put it here, here. I don't know what else. Let me show you. So that's how everything looks. Again, little odds and ends go here with zip ties. Um, tools, recovery, strap, uh, hitch receiver, D-rings here, and we still have some space to put here, something maybe lighter. Um, I don't want to put any, I carry oils and stuff like that, fluids, but I don't want to put that in here. Might be able to put it here and uh, without being smashed. Maybe if I could put a divider and put that here, then maybe you know, put uh, you know, a quart of oil, a uh, quart of something, transmission fluid, maybe that'll be key. Uh, so far, so good. Let me see if I could get anything else in here that I, that's important. Found my machete uh, that I like to carry around. Chop, chop, you never know. I'll always put this in here. Fits in perfectly. I mean, I could always put a hammer or something here, I mean, something like this. Kind of go like the other way. Like 
this. Put the hem there. Let's see where we're at in weight. Okay, so this is not gonna work here because of the latch. So we're gonna have to relocate this. This one? Yeah, okay, so it will work over here. So we put these over here. That right there. Put a hammer in here. heavy. I don't know if I want to put anything else in here. If I do it's going to be something. Yeah I don't know if I want to put any more weight into it. So maybe again some lighter stuff. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? Hope you guys enjoyed um, watching what I decided to store in my uh, Hercon fabrication storage or tailgate storage on my 100 series Land Cruiser. Again, you kind of want to keep it light. It's, it got severely heavy, um, but again, I am reducing, you know, boxes that I have to be carrying inside the cab. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you want to pick one of these up, uh, go to visit their website, click on the description below. And give them a, a thumbs up or a follow on Instagram as well. Huracan Fabrications or HFAB underscore USA, I believe. I'll put their information on the description below. Appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.